Natasha makes. Let's just check that we are, are we up and live? Boom, yes we are. Hello, hello, hello. Lovely to have your company this morning. We're talking leather. Uh, <laughs> And as my guest, my guest, I have a guest, as my guest says, uh, yes, I'm not under the cover of darkness either. Um, we are talking leather, we are talking Tim Holtz, we are talking makes for Father's Day. Yes, we are. Um, so the expert that I have in today is a saddler by training. Yes, she's very good with leather, uh, but I managed to coerce her um, into making wallets for us because she's very good at that as well. Do you need anything particular? No, we're all good. Polyester thread, um, high spun polyester thread, that's on the website, www.natashamakes.com. It's all on there if you wanna make uh, the most of our um, 20,000 meter bundle of thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still on the website at 22.99. Um, now, if you're new to us, hello, welcome. Um, Basically what will happen is um, I'm going to show you the fabrics that we've got because I know a lot of you are very excited for Tim Holtz. Yes, got some fabulous bundles. Um, we've also got leather scrap bags. Uh, we've also got um, kits to make the wallet as well if you are looking for that. We've got all kinds of things. So I will go through what we've got and then you can find them on the website. And if you look on the website www.natashamakes.com uh, then underneath you can click top left click on watch live scroll down everything from the show will be listed live underneath there so that you can easily access it or you can just use the search bar and find it from there that's how you can do that um, if you are going for different items on the show they may not all be dispatched by me they might be coming from other warehouses uh, so they might not all come in one package don't panic so they might also come on different days. Again, don't panic. We have no control over the post. Uh, so who do we have this morning with us? Oh, apart from the dog who's just come in. I don't think he has to socially distance from you, does he, Michelle? I don't think so. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, Emma's watching. Good morning, Emma. Does that mean that you finished uploading everything? Oh, I've just thrown a whole load of stuff at poor Ems this morning. Could you upload this and upload this? We've got Pam. We've got Claire. We've got Sue. We've got Gemma. Good morning. And Hazel and uh, Barbara and Ali. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Margaret and Colette. Hello. Hello. Um, and Janet and Laurie. Hello, everybody. And Sarah as well. Sarah, did I read that you were going to be a grandma? Or did I just make that up? I don't know. Um, Jan's with us, Francis is with us, Hazel's with us, and Rachel is with us. Rachel, remember, Denby would like to give Jamie one of these for Father's Day. A little bird tells me. Uh, we've got Sarah, we've got Naomi, good morning. Hello, everybody, and Linda and Hilary. Oh, it's like a roll call, isn't it? And Debbie as well, and Nikki's here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Heather's very excited to see the show very excited we're all excited this morning Sheena's with us as well good morning I know Sheena's already got her order and she's just relaxing I've seen that uh, Margaret's here Elaine's here um, we've got lots of you joining us good morning um, Davina says hello from Solihull she's down the road just down the road um, Linda as well and Maury look good morning to all of you um, this is a name Sarah Snaggy Fairbank Williams wow I mean that's a good name I don't know if that's like on your birth certificate type name or if that's a little bit, I, it, I'm, I'm all over that. Um, very new to following me anyway. Hello, hello, well, welcome. Lovely to have your, uh, lovely to have your, your company this morning. Um, Elaine says her cousin's in Phoenix, Arizona. Met Tim Holtz at an exhibition. He's a lovely man. Well, this is it. Where did you first learn about Tim Holtz? I learned about him through paper crafting. Where did you first learn about Tim Holtz? The same, through PowerTex. Yeah, through yeah. PowerTex and, and paper crafting. Um, so you can imagine the joy because he was one of my favorite paper craft designers um, up there with, you know, all sorts of all sorts of other lovelies, but up, up there as one of my favorites and from his distress inks as well, all those kinds of stuff. So you can imagine my absolute delight when it turns out he does fabric. Awesome. Awesome. So that's what we have for you today. And the leather. Now, to explain what we have going on today. Um, we have for you this gorgeous wallet. It's called a bifold wallet. 
الأولى مش هيحن نوعا لابد لابد وهي تيم هول نايس Nice, nice. I like that in a in a wallet where you open it up and there's something a little bit interesting because mine never has, you know, money in it. So it's <laughs> it's nice to actually see something else. Quite frankly, it makes me less depressed. Uh, so <laughs> there we are. Bye bye. Uh, so you can fit all your cards and everything in there. And then we also have for you now. This is genius, absolute genius. Because what this is is just a single card. Now. Um, the number of times that my husband has had to get his cards renewed because he puts them in his back pocket and then sits on them and they bend and then they don't read properly or scan properly or anything like this so this is just when you need just one um your husband not letting us have this is he this no i've had to steal that off of him this morning yeah 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 he was sleeping it's fine he didn't <laughs> uh, so they are the two leather makes that we're going to make for you this i say we like michelle's doing all the leather work this morning not me um in the pipeline we've got exciting little things like this and this these are all prototypes that we're going to be bringing to you a little coin purse out of oh suede Oh, nice. Another little coin purse, but this time with a zip. And uh, so all of these things are in the pipeline. Yeah, look at that. Tim Holtz tablet stand. So these will be coming soon, but there's only so much we can do in one morning. So bear with us. Bear with us. This is what we have for you today. And these are all prototypes and these are all being worked on. Um, but this morning we wanted to start with something uh, to get you, I was going to say, to get you into leather. Yeah, that doesn't always come across well, does it? No. Uh, so, but that's basically what we're doing. Well, um, now, uh, a word on um, vegan leather will be coming soon, but we couldn't source it for this show. So we're not ignoring you. If you don't like to work with leather, we're not ignoring you at all. We do have it in the pipeline, but we couldn't get it here for today. And obviously we needed to do a Father's Day based thing for all of us that are going, Ugh, what, what do we get them? What do we get them? Uh, so that's why we're not ignoring you. I have heard you. It will be coming soon. Uh, right. So if you would like, we've got so many options today. If you would like to buy the kit that gets you all the fabric, the leather, because this is a long strip of leather and it gets folded. Um, if you'd like to buy that kit, that is on the website with, and I can show you now because they've now been printed off and we've now got them full, full step-by-step -step photographic instructions that is on the web. And you get the gorgeous fabric and the Tim Holtz um, and the stabilizer as well. Uh, that is all on the website. So that's a whole kit if you want to, to be able to make that. Now, there is another version um, which will use leather scraps. Um, so if you don't have a long piece of leather like you have here, there is going to be another version that we will put on the website for you. And that will be labeled the scrap version, which makes it sound, but it, it's just because I, it's all fell into place. You know, when the universe just goes, Oh, have this and you go okay then um, because what fell into my lap was um, managing to source some designer leather scraps so basically I have a source that managed to find for me some incredible leather scraps and you can buy them by the 250 or 500 gram bag there's a, a little bit of a deal if you buy the 500 one uh, it will be mixed and I'm not accepting returns on these okay because you you buy it accepting that they are scraps and it is mixed and I you know I can't guarantee that you will get X I, it's sold by weight but what I can tell you is that these are the leather offcuts from handbag makers that have their bags in Harrods, Selfridges, all the top stores so this is beautiful luxury leather so to give you an idea of how much would come in a 250 gram bag you might get a bit like that oh that's a nice greeny one I like that this is what 250 grams is equating to oh that's rather nice as well have you, have you seen that brown oh, one? all of it it's I'm loving oh, all of hang it. on wrong wrong one wrong one 
there we go uh so yeah so they are you know they are sizable scraps we'll make sure we will make sure of that that's a slightly thicker piece um and then but i mean so soft and supple that is just beautiful so that's how much you would get in a 250 gram bag and they are 9.99 so i wanted to bring you an option that was not going to break the bank but is top top quality the softness on these is just gorgeous if you want to go for a 500 gram bag then that might look like might look like again all contents will vary uh like something like this oh have you seen that bit oh. Mm. Um, oh look at that blue oh that actually that one would do the foldy foldy job it's like they were made for father's day it's like colors. it was made for father's day look at this just just stunning um yeah there you go so that's that's an example there we are there of all of the stuff that you might get in your 500 gram bag but that's i just wanted to show you weight wise that's a lot actually isn't there what you would get and like i say um should be 19.99 um and that as well but in this case uh, i've put a little discount on for the 500 and that is 16.99 when they are gone they are gone this was a job lot that uh, we managed to get hold of like say from this designer um just been sitting on it so they they are my samples <laughs> <laughs> they'll be uh you know coming with me let me pop those down there so that's the leather uh the leather bit but if you are going for and i've got two kits for you if you're actually three kits three ki yeah no yeah uh so 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 what we wanted to do today was bring you different fabrics so if you are going for uh, the kits with the instructions and everything in there in order to make this then you can choose from an option of linings and you'll get a long quarter of this so this is the Tim Holtz plaid which I think is gorgeous and I think if I show you the leather that it's coming off so you'd get your strip of leather and your long quarter of that your stabilizer instructions everything that you need so you don't have to worry I think that's rather gorgeous or you can go for this version, which has all the bugs and bits and bobs on. And that's, that's the one that we are demoing with today. Or if you want something completely different, how about that beautiful teal leather there with the Liberty fabric for your, for your lining? How beautiful is that? You can use that leather both sides. You, so you can, can use the leather both sides, this one. Oh, she could have suede. Oh, she could have a suede pocket. Yes. Oh, nice. So you can use that one either way around. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So that's so you can't do that with the other leather, but you can with this with this particular version if you're going for the for the Liberty. And this was chosen because of the colours in the Liberty. We just thought it was divine. So that so again, you get your stabiliser, you get your strip of leather, your stabiliser, your long quarter of your Liberty fabric your instructions and everything in that kit all of these are on the website uh, okay let me pile these up over here we will get to demo in a minute but it's important that you see and know everything everything that we've got we have the instructions for the little single one on the website so you can buy the instructions and that will work perfectly with the leather scraps uh, then Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz fabric bundles. Oh my goodness, this took me so long to decide. What was I gonna put with what? It has been epic. Uh, so let me show you, this is your, oh, I've gotta try and say it, Michelle. Chrysanthemum, chrysanth chrysanthemum, oh, I can't say it. Some days, I could, but not today, chrysanthemum. Yeah, there, okay, I'm not gonna say that again. Half a meter of that with, half a meter of your typewriter lovely and half a meter this is all from tim holtz 
um, and then half a meter what was this one called documentation that's it and then half a meter of your documentation so if you want those then they are on the website that is bundle number one now what I also thought was you guys love complementary fabrics so Moda Bella solids yeah these go with all of the Tim Holtz bundles that I'm showing you this morning. If you just want a plain flat solid, then that's absolutely perfect. Uh, and that is as a complementary bundle. And again, these are Moda solids. So we've stepped it up in terms of quality with your solids as well. Uh, so, you know, these are massive, like these are in line with uh, things like the Tilda solids. It's that kind of quality that we're offering, which is just perfect if you're working working with that now you might not want to use those um, you might not want to hide them away inside as a lining or something like that uh, you know there are there are cheaper cheaper solids that you could use that for but if you're quilting you know something like that then why not go for for matching matching quality um, of fabrics I'm all for that so that is that and then we have and oh, this is the butterfly one. I love the butterfly one. How oh, beautiful. Oh, I mean, hang on. Half a meter. This is what half a meter looks like. All of these fabrics today, 44 inches salvage to salvage. Gorgeous. I'm just in love with that. Just, just in love with it. 44 inches salvage to salvage. And then I have put um, a Moda Grunge fabric with it, which basically is like a distressed cotton uh, well printed printed on there so I'll show you I'll show you the details of these so that's your mode of grunge fabric you can just see that distressed detail in there and I do have a 40 piece fat quarter set of mode of grunge they're lovely for giving a bit of depth and then that is your Tim Holtz distress spot I'm not sure if that's what he actually calls it Let's look on the salvage I called it distress spot because it's distressed and spotty. I love that on all of his fabrics he does actually say, you know, it is meant to look distressed. I wonder how many people returned it saying you've spilt coffee on it <laughs> before before he had to go, no, 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 that's the look. Um, I have Tim Holtz fabric on my kitchen chairs, on the upholstered bit of my kitchen chairs, and I odor coated them first so that they were waterproof put them on my seats two years in the seats need repainting but the fabric is still pristine and I went with Tim Holtz so that it would um you know not show any any dirt <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie anything any stains would just blend uh but actually uh, with the odor coat it's worked an absolute treat so uh <laughs> no absolutely no <laughs> objections from me and they look fab they just look brilliant and it's quite a talking point because our chairs just obviously sit under the table and they they just look like white back normal chairs wooden chairs and then you pull them out to sit on and it's like oh oh and each one's different as well so uh that's how we uh roll in the old mccarty home do you know michelle that <laughs> I get so many deliveries here now for Natasha Makes that all of the delivery guys think my surname is actually Makes. Mrs. Makes. Mrs. Ma <laughs> Mrs. Makes. Delivery for Mrs. Makes. I'm like, yeah, no, I'll take that. It's fine. I'll pass it on to her. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, now, I have got a beautiful script here. And this is a half metre of your script, a half metre of your Moda Grunge spot, and then a half metre of that gorgeous plaid. Look at that. It's a bit grown up, that one, isn't it? Very manly. Manly. We like it. We like it a lot. Uh, but there's your beautiful script there. I do have another script, which is a French script. Ha oh, ha. Oh. <laughs> oui, oui. And all that. Um, that's where my French peters out. Oh, no. And Voiture Rouge, which is a game, fun game we play in the car. Thanks, Grandma, for inventing that one. Um, every time you see a red car, you have to say, what's your rouge? So again, that's uh, pretty much how much Freddie knows. Actually, no, he's much better at French than I am. Much better at he French. He knows escargot. He does know escargot. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with S. Again, long car journeys. Uh, what's that then, Freddie? 
you go through signpost, sky, all of the normal ones. Um, oh no, no, mum, it's French. French. What does Freddie possibly know that begins with S? And uh, Soleil. Uh, Soleil. Oh, Soleil. Yeah, I should have come up with that, shouldn't I? Soleil. No, my mind just goes completely blank. I'm like, I give up, Freddie. What is it? Scargo, mummy. S. Scargo. Begin with an S. I took that up with his French teacher, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all very well teaching them these words, Patrice, but could you teach them how to spell it as well <laughs> because it's causing trouble with our I spy games? <laughs> but he's six. Uh, right, <laughs> moving on. No high expectations here, none. No. Um, here you have uh, a beautiful floral from Tim Holtz. But look, this is his distressed red. Ooh, beautiful. My favourite colour. Beautiful, beautiful. And then this one, I can't remember what this one's called. Why do I not remember? Uh, got your tickets. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's covered in tickets. Tickets and flowers. So if you uh, want something that's Tim Holtzy, bit florally, that's the bundle to go for. All half metres. I toyed with doing long quarters. I did. I really did give this some thought. And I thought, do I do some long quarter bundles? Because they were so popular with the tilde. And then I thought, do you know what? The patterns are so amazing with Tim Holtz that you, yes, you would get a snippet, but often actually the pattern repeat is 40 centimetres. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't get the full shebang. Um, which is a technical term and <laughs> so I was like do you know what I think you just have to have half a meter sorry not sorry it's one of those soul's not sorry uh, now oh no I'm stealing mid um, taking my little labels off now right two more to go then we're all about the leather entomology I love this uh, so thalassophile was the last long word that I had to learn thank you Lewis and Irene for that one and uh, and now entomology is is my i'm going to show you this actually i don't know why i'm even folding it because this has to be seen this is in your leather wallet kit but then also oh look at that there, there are no words other it sometimes. blew me away i love this fabric it's Perfect. stunning it is stunning now i know that tim holtz isn't everybody's cup of tea he's very much mine very much mine but you see inga looked at it she's a cave girl you see she looked at it and went I thought she'd love it because she does a bit gardening. And she was like, no, not for me. But I think this is fabulous. Look at that. That's quite Look a variety, it. isn't there? There is, there is a variety. You don't know what we do something for everyone here. You know, variety is the spice. And as long as I like it, it comes on the show. So <laughs> that's your only moderator here. This is make show. Do it. Yes. It's my show. I'll have what I want. Uh, then, <laughs> don't like it. Make your own show. Uh, then you've got. Um, Oh, this is, yeah, this is Tim Holtz Distressed Stuff as well. And then your Moda Green uh, from the, again, from your grunge range. But look how well that goes with, uh, it, it was that six. It was that six there that I went, oh, well, that has to go with that then, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's what happened there. So you can get all three of those as well as a bundle because they just work beautifully 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 and then once i quickly fold those move that across to there last one to show you no no one one more after this this is i'm going to switch this so that you can see is the bird's nest because the way that it was folded you could only see the bird's nest but look another gorgeous one i love how he brings in all those neutrals you've got stunning neutrals in there and then you've got a little hit of green in that egg which I think is rather lovely. So that forced me, I make it sound like it was a chore, forced me to find. Um, I'm gonna turn that around so you can see it. A distress fabric with green in. I think I've risen to the challenge well, because look what we have there. A slight hint of green, ooh in that mode of grunge that matches the egg to perfection. This is what I love doing. It's just so much fun. So you've got that option, two half metres there. And then the last one is the French script. 
postal, carte postale. Um, I think it's also got things like Souchard across there. Yeah, and chocolat. Actually, that, that's fine. That's about as much as I can manage. Carte postale, Souchard and chocolat. Perfect. This was a little bit um, Café Rouge, this fabric. Yes. Isn't it? Bit, bit Café Rouge. Um, we had a cat when it were Chocolate Point Burmese when we were growing up, called Shenacat Souchard. So that just reminded me of him. And that is your mode of grunge that I've put with it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Beautiful. So if you want a bit of French script, oh then that's the one. There we go. Right, that is all from me. We're not over. We're not finishing. We're just starting. <coughs> just starting. So I'm going to get out of the way. Move my little notes over to here and I'm going to hand over at a safe and respectable distance to Michelle. Um, so I'm going to go up there and then you can, I'm going to go out, you can come in and then I'll <laughs> go back over there. It's like manoeuvring cars in a tight driveway, isn't it? That's what we're going to do. So bear with me. Your screen will be empty for just one moment. Da, 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 da. Thank Hello. you. So everybody, this is Michelle. Hi. Hello. Hello. Well, a round of applause. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. Michelle and I, it was destiny. It was. We were going to meet one way or the other, weren't yeah, we? absolutely. Whether it was horses, children. Yep. Yep. Hochanda. Crafting. Whatever it was. So this is it, isn't it? I mean, you have guessed it on Hochanda, but that's not how I found you. No. And you weren't doing leather work on Hochanda. No, I was power texting on Hochanda, fabric sculpting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I met you at the school gate. What are the chances in this world? Bearing in mind we live an hour and a half from Hochanda. Yeah. What are the chances of meeting you at the school gate with our children in the same class? Tiny school. Tiny school, 20 kids in the school. It's beautiful. Uh, and there we are. Destiny. Destiny. It really was. <laughs> so many a coffee later. <laughs> <laughs> Some vicious scratches from our Christmas holly wreaths that we made together. Oh, that was our bonding session. That was our bonding session. Um, and uh, yeah, firm friends. So it felt only right that I um, coerced you basically into <laughs> picking up your love of leather and resurrecting that and coming on the show. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for... Um reintroducing my love of leather because I did fall out with it for a bit. Sometimes that happens. It's been 25 years this September. Since you fell out? No. <laughs> I was going to say, wow. <laughs> you were Since I left school worker. <laughs> and, and started my training as a saddler. That's so amazing. 25 years this September. Wow. I know. So it has been, it's a lifelong thing. Yeah. Being leather. No, absolutely. And um, it did come through horses. Yep. I've ridden, I've always had horses, and um, that's where my leather journey started, but... But, but... I got into other crafts, you know, and started doing other things and had children, so I haven't done much with leather until recently, until you suggested it again. Yep. And I love fabric. And to be honest, one of the things, this is why I'm so excited today, one of the things that put me off is um, I couldn't share it really because you had to have an industrial machine, or everything was hand stitched. Everything I do or had been doing was all handmade, all hand stitched. But I have a very old, I was gifted a very old, slightly decrepit sewing machine. Right. Just a domestic one. Yeah. And and it's a bit naff really, but I could get it to stitch through some leather. Yay! So we don't need so, to have all singing and all dancing re machines. Really don't. I promise you, you really don't. You can have a very basic machine the most basic machine. You can use normal needles. I do recommend jean needles, um, but I just had normal ones, so I didn't have any others. Polyester cotton, or yep. polyester thread, and that's it, and you're away. So the polyester, because it's so durable, it? and it's, it's really, really strong, so that's why that. Now the jeans needles, I put two different sizes, size 10 and size 12, in a bundle together on the website for you. The jeans needles, as opposed to a leather needle, and I took advice actually uh, away from you as well before I knew that you were going to come here because I knew the scrap bags mm -hmm. were coming as to what needle to go with. And I was told by someone who knows um, 
to go with jeans needles as opposed to leather on the soft, soft leather, especially in the scrap bags, because the, the leather needle is basically a blade and it might actually end up damaging, yeah. damaging the leather. So that's why we've gone with the jeans needles. But if you're going with some of the thicker leather, then yeah, use a leather needle. So I've always used um, bride, it's called bridal bar, so anything to make saddles and harness out of. It's much heavier than we're using today. And um, you would need leather needles for that, but you'd also need an industrial machine. So that's not what we're doing today. It's not an option, yeah. We're using um, much softer leather for handbags, wallets. It's specifically made for this. So you can, you can just use normal needles or jeans needles. The big heavy leathers, they'll tear it. Yes. They'll make a hole. You don't want to see the holes. No, 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 we do no. not. But this, this one here just... Oh, let, me, this, let me switch across. So the, the sample that we made here, yeah, this has been made completely with my very old basic machine. Perfect. A normal, just a bog standard needle. This was before you realised that you could get other needles. Right? Before I even realised. This, domestic sewing is not my area of expertise. Please don't judge me on my sewing. Leather is, <laughs> hand stitching, <laughs> industrial machines. <laughs> And take that as you will. We're not judging. Um, but this is just bog standard polyester thread, standard sewing machine, nothing special. You don't need any special equipment. Perfect. Perfect. Ta -da, taking that off screen. So we're also using for this demonstration dis a distressed look leather. Yes, yes, yes. Because I really like it. It goes really nicely. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> um, I can add to that. It goes really nicely with the Tim Holtz fabric. And um, it's you quite manly. You don't have to explain. You don't have to explain. You like <laughs> I it. Like it's it. your design. You can have whatever you like, Michelle. <laughs> and um, because we were kind of looking at a Father's Day gift. Yeah, perfect. We are just going the extra mile with this. So you can make these wallets. You can make them without fabric if you wanted to but yeah. who wants to this no. is a gift no nope. so we um so we're not only lining the main piece of the wallet so you can see we've lined the pockets in yeah. these as well it's all done so this isn't some sort of cheap thing that you picked up at the market this is a beautiful gift that we're I, making the first time that i ever saw properly beautifully lined leather wallets and let's face it, they were like seventy-five pounds. Was a Paul Smith one? Oh yeah. And he does beautiful lines. Really like, lovely stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, for nineteen ninety-nine to be able to make your own, it has that personal mm -hmm. that personal touch, um, and you can customize as we have here the inside fabric. I just think it's exquisite, absolutely exquisite. I'm so excited for these. Oh, Claire says that she's half French. I now feel I should apologise for all of my bad French accents as we have someone half French watching. Well, my name is spelt with a French, in, in, in the French way, with an accent, so I should yeah. be even better. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We're all good. We're we all love good. the French. Uh, so, we, we do. We um, just can't speak it. <laughs> we just can't see them. Uh, morning, <laughs> Tasha. I love the quilt behind you. Have I missed the demo for that? No, we haven't demoed it. It's, it's there um, to show you what the Tim Holtz fabric looks like made up into a quilt. That's I amazing. Will, yeah, uh, do you know what? I will try and source that pattern. It was sent to me by my uh, fabric suppliers and I now need to source that pattern because lots of you are going, can I get that? Can I get that? Um, Alison says that she loves the mode of grunge. Uh, really pleased that she bought the bundle. It's simply great. Yeah, there is a 40 piece fat quarter bundle on the website for that. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Helen says that she loves the mode of grunge as well. It's one of her go-to fabrics. Lots of you love in the mode of grunge this morning. Um, oh, so Sarah Snaggy Fairbank Williams. Best the best name, name. ever. <laughs> says, um, hi, Michael. I think she might be Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going with that. Uh, I saw, uh, I sew with leather. But find, regardless of, I've just, let, I've just lost it, uh, regardless of leather needles and Teflon foot, I still have to use my industrial machine. Yeah. Mm. What size leather? You know, it's whether yeah. we're using um, how, how thick the leather is. This is half a mil. Thick. Yeah. So it's really thin. Yeah. Um, using up to, on um, the second piece is about one mil that we're using. Yeah. So that's that's and then that's we're folding the that several times. So 
it does and you must make sure your needles are really sharp so if you've just got a bog standard needle and nothing special you must change it and make sure it's really sharp because it will blunt quite quickly and that will hinder you yeah no you see she's um she's in the process of making a bitless bible for a welsh d i'm not a saddler but needs must i'm uh, all, i yeah i ride bitless i just ride in a halter yes yeah yeah your domestic sewing machine's not going through that not gonna do that no no no, no. but no good luck good project yeah send us photos yeah. we want to see um yeah you've you've hit into the into the horsey world here it's, it's all good okay where would you like to start so let's start i've already cut out some pieces i didn't want to be cutting and it's so boring to watch all the cutting out but this is what you would get in the kit okay there we go so you will have one long piece of leather mm -hmm. it might be even longer actually and then you cut off the pockets so you've got the main piece yeah it ends up being about 50 centimeters doesn't it we were working it out this morning yeah i think we 47 it. i think yeah it might and be then we <laughs> we whacked another couple of centimetres on for for good measure. Or in, <laughs> ironically, in case you're bad at measuring. <laughs> for bad measuring. <laughs> so you Slash have. Good measure. <laughs> it's, a, I, it's the way I work. Just a, just a bit extra in case. Just yeah. in case. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you've got your... This is the main... That's your main wallet. And mm -hmm. then you're gonna, we've got four pockets, but we've got two two separate pieces and mm -hmm. then one that's going to be included and your fabric and you'll cut out the the main lining piece and I've just I've prepared this earlier just on a little fold either side because we've gone for a rustic look do you want to do you want to show that on a little close-up there we go up by the old machine so just the the fold here yeah oh there you go you stop probably use the you salvage yeah Oh yeah, I don't like to waste any. No. no. So, um, because we've gone for raw edges on this, and this is to make allowances again for the domestic machine. If we've started folding, we're adding a lot of layers and it's mm. a lot to ask of machines. And I want this to be um, accessible to everybody, no matter what machine you've got. That was really important for us, wasn't it? Because yes. it was the only way that we could bring this to you without having to... Well, we did. We looked, didn't we, at the leather clamps yes. and like how much they were. And it's like, well, maybe in future, if, if people want a lot of leather, then we can look into that. But actually, if I want to make something for my father for Father's Day, or if the kids, you know, want to with a bit of help, <coughs> make something mm -hmm. then actually this is perfect and I, I don't want to be elitist and go you must have a thousand pound machine it, it, because we don't all have that I no. started on my grandmother's singer that was 50 years old and that would do this yes it would yeah and it, it's what put me off for ages actually doing a project like this is just because I didn't have the equipment to, or thought I didn't have the equipment to do it yeah but when I actually thought no I'm going to give it a go because everything had always been hand stitched. Yeah, why not? This has worked beautifully. Now, there is an option to buy glue, and I've just remembered that because Tracy's watching and it's her glue. Uh, morning, Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> now, the glue, there is an option to glue or not glue. It's entirely yes. up to you. Talk us through your glue. So, I, in leather work, always, <coughs> we've always used glue. This is a, you know, glue is included. We've always used glue. We use it to, stick things down it helps with the stitching whether hand stitching or machine stitching okay but when i mentioned to you natasha glue you were very surprised and i realized <laughs> that sewers don't necessarily glue things not that we admit to <laughs> <laughs> yes. it has happened but not so, that we would ever admit to <laughs> so i use there's a very so with leather work Lots of the glues are neoprene or latex glues. They're very... They stink. They stink. No, no apologies. And they're quite that, toxic they and you have to have open windows and then, you know, there's solvents involved. We do not want that in our lives. We don't want, we don't need that. We have alternatives these days. So 25 years ago, so it was very different. But now um, I use something called Powertex, which is a universal medium. It's a paint, it's a glue and it's a fabric hardener. But I use the transparent Powertex. That's a well. That's a well-used bottle there. Let's let's have a little. Yeah, I'm really on that. sorry. I should have bought 
um, a clean bottle. But Natasha you know, said it's real here. It's re we are real here. We're real. Absolutely, we're real. So that is that is what you will get. Six ninety nine. It's on the website. That is what you will get. Um, so if you're a crafter, you can use that for pretty much anything. Yeah, it does all sorts of things. But we're using it as a glue. Okay. Um, and just it's no, it's non toxic. So there are no solvents involved in water -based, this. Non -toxic. Water based, non toxic non-toxic and this is going to sound really strange to mention in a show with leather vegan friendly it is vegan. the rest of the show isn't but, the, <laughs> but this is it is vegan and it actually it holds the ap certificate which is what the, is that it's the highest safety certificate rating you can get in the world it's the american safety um certificate for crafting products oh right. very very difficult to attain so it's gone through lots of stringent tests Okay. But it's important to me, if you want to involve your children in crafting or you want to involve your children in this product, <coughs> project, you don't want to expose them to anything toxic. No. Nope. I want to be able to wa wash my water bra, um, paintbrush out that I've been using for gluing. I want to be able to wash it in the sink yep. and know that I'm not harming the environment. Perfect. So that's, you know, it's got so many pluses. You can use any glue you like, but yep. this is the best one. Um, so a big thank you to Tracy for letting us stock that. Yes, as thank well. you, Tracy. Um, Gemma says she loves teal. That is, that is all. Oh, my word. I know the teal I was so leather, excited about the teal. For the Liberty Teal thing, uh, um, wallet, I just, when you showed me that, because we've had to do this on, there's been a lot of WhatsApp action. Yeah. Um, with a lot of cyberspace. Is, this is the fabric that <laughs> I can provide for you. What leather can you find to to uh, to match it mm -hmm. and and then when you showed me that teal, I was like, that has to go with the Liberty fabric. So I think we're bringing you how much would you pay for a Liberty lined leather wallet? Oh my word. A little bit more than 19.99, right? A lot more than 19.99. Yeah. Near yeah. 100 pounds you're yeah. looking at for that kind of yeah. wallet. Yeah, yeah. Handmade. Handmade, yeah. Oh, there are only eight till left, said Em. Right, okay, well then you need to be a bit. Okay, we'll stop talking about the tail. Because I went to get blue and I didn't <laughs> like the blue. And then I looked at the green, I didn't like the green and that was, I was like, I'll take that. Changer. Give yeah. me, give me it all. Um, um, where were we? Um, Diane, she says, ah, I didn't add the power text to my order. Add it in, check out again, and then email SJ and, and she'll sort that out. Info at natashamakes.com. There we go. Um, uh, Carol, same for you. Um, oh, Laurie's, Laurie's gone for the Liberty Teal. Fabulous. Um, it's gorgeous. I want yeah. to wear it. it yeah, yeah, no, I, I, it is absolutely beautiful. And do you know what? From the moment I saw that Liberty fabric on the shelf in the warehouse months ago, you'll notice I haven't done very many projects with it because I've earmarked it for this. That's how long I've been thinking oh. that you needed to come and do this for me. <laughs> and that, I, honestly, that's how long. That's why it hasn't been in lots of other kits because oh. I've been saving this for this. I think it's going to go as well, isn't it? That's not going to hang around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But any any queries with your orders, um, then just info at natashamakes.com. SJ is there. And that's always, don't don't come at me on Facebook because I, I just, I don't get to go through my messages. I'm so busy fulfilling orders because we're so short on staff um, and we've grown so fast. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm fulfilling orders. I'm not on Facebook. They get lost, so don't they? they the do. comments, they yeah. just disappear. You yeah, can't yeah. always see them. Um, Helen has just ordered the teal. She's new to leather work. You are going to absolutely love it. Fiona's gone for the leather scraps, glue. Uh, it's going to be fun. She says, yes, it is. Really yes, fun. It is. So we have they read all really of your fun. cutting instructions. We have cut everything to and folded over our seams and pressed. Okay, so we folded and pressed the seams. Yeah. Because we just don't want to see, we, we want raw edges of leather, but not of the fabric. No. That's personal choice if you want raw edges of fabric then you know you don't go do it. for it and one more thing yep now i've called it i think a stabilizer oh, in the instructions yes yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. may have said stiffener <laughs> <laughs> but i can't say that about sniggering now <laughs> you got me some it. <laughs> it's personal preference really so some people like a really soft pliable flexible wallet but we've yep. discussed how men break their cards yep. often so just to give it a bit of stability and stop it being quite so flexible we insert a little something 
in the pockets. Okay. Now I have looked at many different options. You have researched for this. this thoroughly, yes. And um, there's all sorts of things you can buy in crafting world, but none of them come close to the piece of sandpaper. <laughs> but it's my favourite. <laughs> it's the perfect. Um, it's just perfect. It's perfect for it. So that's what I'm using here, and that is what's included in the kits. So yeah, and and this was the thing because when we were chatting yesterday about the final bundle that we were going to bring to air today, you're like, do we actually put sandpaper in the kits? I was like, look, if it's what you've used, I am not going to send anybody no. out to B and Q to go and get sandpaper, and then because I don't know, I'm very confused about all of the different. Do oh, I, I don't need... like it. No, no, no. It scares me. <laughs> Whereas you nick this off your husband, so it's fine. Yes. Um, so these will go in the kit. <laughs> Keeping it real. Uh, <laughs> but it's the perfect one that we found. So it's in the perfect. kit it goes. Uh, because let's face it, while it should not go through the wash, so it's fine to use no, it. No, please don't put your wallet through the wash. Mm. But it'll probably survive, yeah, actually. Well, but, but don't try it. Yeah. So we have a piece of that. The next mark out your folds so this i'm just going to quickly mock up how this will look so i'm using one long piece just to give you a bit of added strength and to lessen the amount of sewing that you're doing so right. if you have got a bit of a dodgy machine that struggles you're not asking too much of it okay so we're just going to fold over the ends to line this pocket mm -hmm. and then there'll be another fold and that that forms your outer pocket and then these are your inner pockets. Can you see this okay, what I'm doing? So we're making a fold here. Mm -hmm. And this pocket is going to sit it's the same on both sides, just like this. Nice. Can you see that? Yeah. Now, this is the one we put the stabilizer in. Just going to move these pieces to one side. No, you don't sew through the stabiliser, do you? Don't sew through the stabiliser. So I the do stabilizer say that in the instructions. Smaller. Yeah. Yes. So that they're, they're literally just to give a bit of stability, a bit of firmness. So for each pocket, and you can choose to add them or not add them, up to you. We're going to glue. <laughs> so if you don't want to glue, you can just pin this, I guess. Yeah, clip. I would clip it. I'd use oh, your. Oh, I saw your, a clip. Um, yeah, they're all on the side, all on the side of that pot there. On the there. There. Uh, then, on, if you go down the side, oh, there's down some the other here. side. There's some smaller ones just on. The, there, there you go. Quilters clips. Sorry. Perfect. So for quilters. I never even heard of this. So this oh, is yeah, how educated. uneducated I am. But you can just use these to hold. Because you don't want to use pins in your leather. Um, Jill says can't find the project on the website. So if you click on um, watch live underneath and just keep scrolling, 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 um, and then click on view all and they are all down there. Um, so just do that basically and you'll find them there. So I'm just gluing now. You don't need lots. This will last you a really long time. Even if you decide to do a bit of fabric sculpting with it, this will still last you a long time. It goes a long way. And I've put way too much on here. You were very generous. I was very generous. generous. I was very excited very at, to be at the gluing stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam says, hi, Natasha. I love your shows. Thank you. Uh, I bought the leather scraps and the Tim Holtz provisions. Oh, roses and tickets. Yay. Um, and um, for, for you, Jill, um, SJ has just put up the link for the wallet below. I love your audience. So supportive. My so audience really is the best audience they are you could the best ever, audience. ever wish for. I love how everybody knows everybody as well. There's a real sort of community, isn't there? There is. And, and that is what is so lovely. Like last week when um, I had um, machine cleaning gate. That's all I'm going to say on that. Um, <laughs> Everyone was so lovely about the fact that we had to do an impromptu and this is how you clean your machine because I clearly <laughs> haven't for a while. But the other lovely thing is that everybody has such a wealth of knowledge and they're not sitting looking going, mm, well, I, well, maybe they are sitting going, I could do a better job. Um, I don't. But instead, 
it was, oh, and have you thought of doing this? And you could try doing this as well. So everybody's supportive. There's a wealth of knowledge. There's sharing. That the sharing. Knowledge. And that's what I absolutely love about, about all of you guys, especially. Okay. Well, I love it too. So here, I just, I put the sandpaper side face down onto the leather. So it's I'm kind glad of you've said that because Martina was just worrying about that. It's it's hidden inside, Martina, so that, that no don't sandpaper will be touching anything. No one will ever know. No, it's our secret. Th this is a trade secret. So Catherine says, and this is a very much a question for you because I have no idea. Um, can you use buckram? Is that a type of... Oh, no. Oh, as a, in terms of for stabilising. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I've just realised that's actually... She's then she wasn't sure on the spelling. I was realised actually oh, that was okay. a question for me. Yes, you can if you want to. And then put the fabric on top. That's it. So, and that's with the raw edges folded under. Yes. Okay, so the Liberty Teal is gone. Um, what I will do is make a phone call and see if we can get any more... I loaded 20. How many was that? Was that the maximum that we could do? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. OK, so the, the suppliers will open tomorrow. We'll see yes. if they can get hold of any more. Yes, because it's bank holiday. I know it doesn't even feel like that, does it? Today? Every day is bank holiday. Every day is a Saturday. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> OK, so that's that's now glued into place. Would you like to show everybody that on a close up, please? So you can see I've come in from the edges because I don't want it to be hanging out, but that's my personal choice. But also when you stitch, that means that they've got fewer layers to go through yes. as well. But yeah. it's all held in place because we've, we've got it's to stick it in glue in. Perfect. So I've moved that. Yeah. Now, <coughs> the only thing with the glue is you must wait for it to completely dry before you stitch it. How long is that going to take? It depends how warm the room is, maybe half an hour. Okay. We're not going to wait now okay um the magic of television means <laughs> i have one i made earlier i have stitched i have had a go at stitching when it's still not quite dry and it just it didn't mess my machine up but the stitches you could tell that they weren't completely right pulls them through a bit tighter okay don't do that then. no don't it just it just wasn't very nice so ones i've made earlier So where are we at? Oh, I didn't do that. You also, sorry, just going back one you, step. You go wherever you I forgot you like. to put the lining in in the centre. Oh, yeah, we need to better that. The most important bit. Well, you know, it's kind of why people are buying the kits, but we'll gloss over that. It's fine. So you're all... <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a small detail. Oh, Michelle, did I mention, because obviously you get the instructions and everything in this kit, but lots of you are going for the leather scrap bags. There is a scrappy version of this wallet. Yes. Now, how does that vary? Okay, so this is made using one long piece. Yeah. Um, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the th ways you can look at a good quality item made out of leather is there are less seams and stitching in it. So. Right because you can have a nice long piece of leather and it's a really easy because way it folds, to tell. Because it's soft, right? Uh, because it's a longer piece of leather and people haven't made it from lots of different bits. Okay. So okay. if you're looking at a big quality item or a nice leather jacket or something, the less seams it has, the more expensive, the higher the quality uh, item. So okay. this is our high quality one in the kit. Yeah. But if you want to make one using the scraps, which will also be beautiful and handmade and high quality, but it's yes. slightly different. We won't have one long piece. Um, there is a pattern to show you how to make this so that will have using separate pieces. And that will have different cutting instructions and all yes. that kind of stuff. But that is on the website. So if you've gone for the scrap bag, um, because maybe you want to make multiples or whatever, then do... You can make a lot. Yeah, just, just make sure that you get the correct instructions um, for, what, for what you are choosing. Yes. Basically. And also, I think w there'll be um, different pocket options, so there'll be different angles and things that you can do. Oh, nice. It's quite nice. There's loads of, you can really go mad with these. Which we are hoping to do. Yeah. This is just <laughs> our first. This is just the introduction. <laughs> so I forgot to, to show you this bit, but I would also glue the, um, the fabric 
to the main piece and just be mindful that you will only see a small section so put your best bit there yeah, I'm sure can... I don't have to tell you that, but you well, know. no, but it's, it is a point to make, isn't it? But, uh, which bit do you actually want to see? Yes. I we toyed with how much fabric to put in. We could have put in half the amount that we have added into the kit, but that was because we wanted you to be able to fussy cut and have stuff left over. Yes. Yeah. And I have, you know, I've put, I've chosen. There's so many bits that are my favourite. You can have a completely different look from the same strip of fabric. You can have, you know, script or bugs or. Yeah, um, now Michaela's been busy uh, sewing scrubs, so she's a bit late. Do you need a leather needle? We are actually saying on this, no, we're saying the jeans needle. And I put a jeans needle bundle together of two different sizes, one slightly bigger than the other. Um, we're saying no to a, a leather needle because this is such a soft, fine leather. We don't want it to actually cut it as it goes, which is what a leather needle will do. I'm reliably informed it's more like a blade. So we've gone for a jeans needle, which is a really heavy duty needle instead. Um, so, and you can get two different sizes on the website in a bundle, or you can go for, I've got another needle bundle, which has got jeans needles in there. And it's one of those jeans needles that is in the machine today. So here we are. This is our glued piece. You also glue the ends down, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've now got the pockets that will go on the inside. So they're lined, this is fabulous. Lined pockets, which we just, we talked about earlier. You don't have to do, but you do see them, you know, if you're putting, yeah. putting back. And I think it's just, it's a gift. Father's Day gift, make, make the effort. Yeah. <laughs> come on, make the effort. <laughs> And then we have the measurements, they're all on the, in the instructions, but if you want to adjust them slightly, up to you. It's quite free. There's, you know, there's some room for um, artistic expression. Yes, freestyling. Yeah. Now we're at the sewing bit. So okay. I get to use your beautiful machine. I am nervous about sewing on TV. That's okay. Are we ready? Yeah, no, we are. Um, and let's let's reiterate why why you are ne let's really <laughs> focus on why you're yes, nervous Sherry, for a moment. <laughs> let's Just drill down on that. <laughs> let's have a, let's talk about this. This is not uh, my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Industrial leather machines is what you are used to. Yes. Um, so we're very grateful that you have adapted this for the domestic machine, and and I cannot stress that enough. This is for the domestic machine. Your machine at home um, is not all singing or dancing. It is a hand me down machine. Mm -hmm. Um, that obviously you're grateful to have, but it, Very grateful. but it isn't like an all whizzy, whizzy, whizzy. So this, this is not in any way. This is a, um, this is a project any machine can, can do. Yes. That I think I worked on the assumption if the machine at home that I've got, like, I don't even know the name of it. I should have bought it in to show you and everyone would have gasped at the vintage. It's not vintage. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just one of those. But if my machine can get through this, then anybody's machine can go through it. Perfect. Perfect. Right. So, okay. To the machine. What are we actually stitching? To the machine. So we're just putting a stitch along the top of the pockets. Okay. All, so all four pockets. Right. Go on then. We are ready for you. Okay. And you, you can, can go chain right piece the side. these. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. It just means you do one after the other. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Do you want to have a go? Would you like to have a no, go? No, it's all right. Just, it just means that you just don't bother to um, cut your thread in between. You just pick up the next bit and shall keep I, going. Shall I do that? Yeah. Shall I give it a go? <gasps> Look at me, I'm learning something. There we go. Making sure I've got the dry one and not the one I just glued. <laughs> Having said, don't use that. Um, so, slow your machine down. That's that's the key, isn't it? Here, nice and slowly, yeah. slowly, slowly does it on this. This is what I call an also. I've never seen such an exciting sewing machine. <laughs> I really <laughs> love this. <laughs> Like, the look on your face when I was like, yeah, and you just do it like this. You're like, that's amazing. I just, I can't believe how good this is, how clever it is. But if you've got an older machine, just go slower. Lower your needle down. This is what I do. I check that it's, um, it's coping okay. I, just, I mean, 
Who knew that these existed? <laughs> and then do I just snip? Yeah, just snip. It? Yeah. And it just saves you starting and, and doing and starting and doing. Right, and I've got one more to do. I need to do the other end. It just makes that. life easy. Okay, so I'll just do this one. You can put two rows of stitching along if you like, if you prefer the look. Ooh, I wonder if you can get twin needle jeans needles. You must be able to. Or you can just do it manually, I guess. Or that option too, yeah. I forget that these do all sorts of clever stuff. Oh, and McKenna says she, she got her old machine for her 12th birthday. It's still going now over 55. Oh. Amazing. Oh, that's, um, that's beautiful. I love that. In all the machines that I have, I still keep my grandmother's so, singer, which is now nearly 60 years old. And still no problem. It would do this. Yeah. So we've stitched down. We've stitched down. Yeah. That, these are our outer pockets. Right. And you can make... Make life easier for yourself by pressing the folds where you want them to be. You can just even... Just with your fingers, not with Just with your iron. fingers, you can yeah. use... If you want to use a little crafting hammer, I don't know if anyone what, no? has that kind of thing, put another piece of leather on top is what I was going to say, uh, because it will mark really easily. So basically, get your meat tenderizer out. No. <laughs> In, in thicker pieces of leather, we would wet it first, right. and it's called blocking, and you okay. can mould the leather to be any oh. sort of shape. That's how, um, you know, shoes are made and all sorts of things that where leather has shape, you oh. block it. But we don't need to. This is so soft and pliable, we don't need to do that. Okay. Good job. And then we need to place these in. There are measurements, but I'm kind of... These have got inches on, and I, I used to use inches, and, but for this project, I thought, oh, gosh, these people are all very modern and use centimetres. <laughs> <laughs> you fangled measurement. measurement. You fangled metric. <laughs> What's going Sorry on? Sorry for that. <laughs> um, so we're using this. So I'm just placing this where I want them to go, and I'm going to use the clips. Oh, yeah, now, now there's no stop. I'm going to have to send you home with some, aren't I? <laughs> Who knew? Who so knew they were clips? Um, I'm just going to swap it so you, everybody can see what you're doing. There we go. Um, Emma, a little message for Emma. Yes, you can. Um, and I will I will adjust my, my order. So I'm just taking a bit of time now to line up the ends. Now, this is the other beauty. If you don't have the fabric going right to the edge... If you've got some wonky edges at the end, you can just trim them off without trimming through the fabric. You're not going to have wonky edges because no. you're going to measure accurately. And you cut your leather with your rotary cutter? Yes. Mindful of um, what we were doing today and the audience, <coughs> you're not going to have big saddlery knives. You might have. But I just wanted to make sure that this was easy and we could use the tools that we've already got. So just Good use job. a rotary cutter. Good job. From my brief foray into quilt making, which was laborious and difficult, and then I met you and you said it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. <laughs> and you're like, it. what? <laughs> Stop making life so difficult. <laughs> I'm still friends with my um, Saddlery College tutor. We're friends on Facebook. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if she's watching today, but... I hope she is, and she's proud of how far I've come. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of you. Okay, so, I'd, sorry, I didn't really show everybody. I've just clipped. There you go. No you glue. On a close-up. There we go. Yeah. No glue. And now I'm going to stitch this. Do we need to go forwards and backwards or anything like that? Oh, good question. So, on the domestic machine... Oh, sorry, oh, I've moved. I keep moving. There we go. Oh, I can go back. Where I can, should I stay I can. Here? No, 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 it's all right. There we go, go back. There so go. this one on the little old domestic machine with the bog standard cotton, I've just done a reverse stitch over the edge of each um, pocket. So where that high pressure point would be. Yeah. Especially if they're men, you know, they're going to manhandle them a bit. Yeah. We assume. Except for <laughs> one, assume. which I forgot to do. And you can just see that that might become, oh, can you see, a weak point. Sorry, just 
So that might become a weak point. So I might. So you go backwards and forwards yeah. over there. And this that's the line. Can you just show us the line of stitching we're about to sew then? It's that line it's along this there, line. that top line along there. That That's with, that wasn't even using the proper polyester thread. So um, just if you want to reinforce it. Yeah. Do that. Do not use cotton for this um, because if you want it to be durable, um, it, polyester is the way forward for this because it's just going to be so much more durable. And it just, it can shred sometimes the cotton so one. So if you just put the but foot why down was it a little beeping? bit more, because you, you need to put the foot down a little bit more. Leave her at the back. Leave her at the ah, back. Yes. Down a little bit more. Be a bit, a bit more forceful with it. That's the one. <gasps> so you have to, my machine is very fickle and I could upset it easily. Of course, the other thing that I could do on this machine is um, is also put it on a floating foot, whereby it, it hovers ever so slightly higher. Ah. I should have thought of that. Um, the other thing that I absolutely love, and um, was your surprise this morning where you said, I don't have to like pull and push this through the machine? Yes. So I'm pushing a little bit here. And Martina says, uh, Michelle is lovely. Such a nice guest designer to have on Tash. Oh, thank I only you. bring nice ones. That's really kind. Thank I don't, you I don't, very I don't much. Bring, I, don't, I, I have high quality of guests, high standards <laughs> on my guests. It's worked. <laughs> it's worked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take that note of surprise. <laughs> it's just me using a newfangled machine. I get all the top quality uh, professionals. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other thing you mentioned a walking foot. For I did. This machine, yes. Which I had no idea domestic machines could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're quite quality. common on the um, in the industrial machines. So you could. And very useful. You could do that. You absolutely could do that as well. Um, actually, uh, Sarah Snaggy Fairbank Williams, <laughs> best name ever, uh, has just said exactly that. A walking foot would be a good idea. Yeah. Absolutely, yes, it would be. Um, but again, we wanted to show that it doesn't have to be. Can we show where we've just stitched, please? Yes. Thank you very much. So we've just stitched. Nice. We've gone for a darker thread in the demo in the demo piece that I made. I used a light thread. This is a dark green and it's such compliments. It really nice. I one. love your bug placement. Also, I would like to. Yes, can we I just, love Can we bug just bug go place. back and appreciate the bug placement, please? Just for a moment. Beautiful bug placement. I thought about it. You, you see? did. Good job. Good job. Beautiful. Thank you. And there we're we done. Go. Tidy Yay. up the threads. Hey, was that it made? That's it made. No way. Could that be any easier? <laughs> no. My God, I think Freddie could actually make this. I, d I really <laughs> believe, like, I, you know me, I run a children's Sunday studio. Yeah, you do. And I think children should have access to really good quality materials, trust them to make it, and they will. This is something they could definitely make. I'd like to say I've also done the children's Sunday studio. <laughs> yes, you have! <laughs> <laughs> it's suitable for adults as well. <laughs> <laughs> Parents can join in with or without their child. Yep. Oh, yeah, we had Emily on a bumbo, didn't we? <gasps> Sat on the side. Tiny Emily, Tiny yes. Emily. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was good fun. Um, so, there we are. Right. Okay. Uh, everybody, a lot of love for you this morning, Michelle. Oh, thank you very much, because yeah. it's, it's nerve-wracking coming on and doing things. Yeah, no, but we're, we're only part way through. We are one, we are one project Amazing. down. One to go. Even you look surprised. <laughs> No, I knew I had I had faith. <laughs> um, Jill says, "Would this work on faux leather?" Yes. 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 We just it's haven't managed to source the we right have... one that we wanted. No, we want to make sure that it's you know proper vegan leather, don't we? we but have really, standards. it's the um, it's the thickness of the leather. So whether it's faux or not, that's what you want to look out for. So you want it to be. This is half a mil. Um, Probably one mil is about as thick as your basic machine will go through. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what's next? What's next? So you this... see, everyone's saying that you're great, thinking that you've finished. 
Like, no, no, we've got something else. Halfway through, peeps. Halfway through. I've got something else here. Up your sleeve. Oh. It would fit up your sleeve. Uh, do you want to show? There we go. We'll go over there. Get this one. I'm this excited one. for this. Complete with card. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't come with Michelle's debit so card. So this is just. I'll turn that over. Um, a simple single card holder. Genius. Now this was inspired by your husband. Yes. So um, I can't pretend that, you know, I've invented the wheel here. This, well, no, this you know, it, yeah. it is what it is. But I find with my husband, he just takes a card out. Yeah. He just, and he puts it in his jeans pocket. And then when I start seeing him tapping his pockets and you know, he's lost his card again, or he sat on it. So this was the solution. Perfect. And he loves it. He was really excited. Um, also, you have to take that back for him, don't you? I have. This is his actual one that he's <laughs> using. So I made this. This one I'd hand stitched, but we yeah. are going to um, machine stitch this today. Perfect. Perfect. Using da, 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 da. a piece oh. of scrap. We had a right good rummage through the old scrap bags this morning, didn't we, to find this. I can't remember which bag that came out of. So one of the bags that I showed you going... Where have you this, moved them? Because oh, I remembered. Down on the floor. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'll find it again. I'll find it. Yeah. So this is from one scrap bag. This is all from the same piece. Yeah, just one piece. And you one get multiple piece pieces in your scrapper's bag. From one scrap bag. And I have cut... I, I've prepped one. But you are also, so it's really, really simple. The measurements are um, on the pattern on the website. Oh, so you can get, yeah, you can get this pattern. It's on the website yeah. and all the details are there. And we did it so that you could buy the scrap bags. We wanted, we wanted to make this as affordable and friendly for you as we possibly could, basically. So you could buy, um, you could buy one of the little scrap bags. Mm -hmm. You could buy a bigger scrap bag and make loads. Um, do you have an angel policy? Can people make and sell this? Yes, they, of course. Go for it. Go for it. I would love yeah. to see that. Love that would to be, see I it. I really would. I think, oh, yeah. I'm so excited about all the leather going out. Because Claire says this would be great for your travel pass too. I mean, when yes. travel is a thing again, absolutely. Yes, yeah. when it's a thing yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Genius. Genius. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah Snaggy Fairbank Williams says that her Facebook page um, has her family pet name in, which is Snaggy. Oh. And she now doesn't know how to delete it because I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, Facebook don't like you changing your name too often, so you not. could be stuck with that. They do not. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just stressing this is one piece don't that stress. all of this. Oh, <laughs> stressing a point. Oh, I'm sorry. not stressed. I'm very relaxed actually. <laughs> it's okay. So, so far, so good. And this da, 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 final piece is made from three pieces. Okay. Okay, so we've yep. got one two three cut out to the same size and then this was a little flappy piece on the end um we cut a piece on the bias i don't know the best way to um up close let's go up close there we so go we cut a piece on the bias nice and you can go either way okay so it doesn't matter personal preference you're not which biased <laughs> I'm not biased. Yeah, sorry. And I have used an end piece here. I don't want to be wasteful, particularly if you've got scrap. So the measurements are in the pattern. But they're not set in stone. They're not set in stone. Okay. As long as you can fit um, your card safely in. So okay. I've used, this is the perfect example. So my next um, genius thing, I say my next genius thing, it's not at all, it's, it's Jane Alcock's morning. Um, was uh, that when giving it as a gift, you could put a voucher in with it. Oh, my word. That I is know, genius. Right? Utter genius. Utter genius. This has my brother-in-law all over it, who is the hardest man to buy for. Perfect. I am fed up of buying him beer kits. <laughs> <laughs> or... You know, Through your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or whatever other, you know, because I'm like, I've seen him once drink a beer. That will do. No, So no, no, hard, no. isn't it, buying yeah. for men? Yeah. Genius. Genius. I, I feel love that. we have just solved a world problem. We have solved a lot of problems this morning. We have. 
Absolutely. So. <laughs> uh, Naomi wants the quilt. Oh, she wants it as a kit. Um, leave that with me, Naomi. That's all I can say. Just, you know. Yeah. It is a fa That's a lot of work. Oh, Martina says if people sell them, they should make sure to accredit you. Oh, by all means, you know, spread, <laughs> spread the love. Spread the love. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this at the angle that the leather suggests. I yes. cut it oh, rather yeah. than the pattern because this came off the end. We don't want to waste. Did you see how easily that just flowed through? I did. I loved it. Yes. And because that, that sort of cut was already on there, that's the way that it's going to lie on the leather. Now, you have a choice about your stiffener Ooh. here. <laughs> Snigger. <laughs> to include or not include, up to you. I would because um, we're using soft leather, so it goes through the machine, but we want to keep the card safe. So basically make your stiffener smaller. Make um, it smaller so you're not so stitching you're not stitch it. through it because that's not great. It's not nice for your machine. It okay. doesn't want yeah. to be stitching through sandpaper or or any insert actually. No, no, it doesn't. That you put in. It doesn't um, want to. Don't Penny do says, it. Um, loving the show, especially as I have the Powertex glue and faux leather. She's good to go. She's good to go. Wow. You just need the pattern. Job done. Job Fellow done. Powertex fan, that's really yeah. nice. So we're going to glue the three pieces together. Again, I guess you could clip these if you wanted to. And you want nice side showing. Oh, hang on. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, you, you lifted it off the table. And I oh, sorry. Changing, sorry. Changing I, the, uh, you can tell I'm so amateur. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't think so. And then nice side at the top. This is really so simple. It's going to blow your mind how quickly. Oh. I was just going to say, <laughs> Ooh. had another little scrap. If you don't want to use your sandpaper or you've run out, yeah. or you've just bought a scrap bag, so yeah. you might not have any, yeah. use a scrap of leather. Okay, perfect. <gasps> Look at that's genius, isn't it? <laughs> you or are. Two I love that you surprise yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that. So nice side showing. Annette wants to know what grade sandpaper should I use? Well, the, the one that Michelle stole from her husband. We don't know what grade it is, but it, you've, uh, you've used others and this is the perfect one. This is the perfect one. <laughs> I don't know. How would you tell? I does, don't know. Does that mean anything? I have no idea. If that means anything to I, you. Shall I show I'm going to show oh, it Oh, yeah, the go back. on. Does it go there? But basically, you'll That's get what's this written on it. in the kit if you are buying the kit for the... Um, for the wallet yes. if you've got scraps lying around the house then crack on and use those use the scraps um, but otherwise use a bit of an extra bit of leather in the middle why yeah. not why not use that that you know anything as long as you're not stitching through it now for the two um same size pieces glue all over with Perfect. stiffener and then when you're putting the front on you don't, don't glue in this way because you want to be able to put your card in. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, don't glue that bit. Don't glue that bit. Do not glue that bit. Just no. glue round the very, very edge, if you're gluing at all. Right. So just stick round the edge. Okay, okay. Uh, Trisha, good morning, Trisha, my love. She says, morning, Natasha and Michelle. Loving the simplicity. Good so morning. inspiring when I have work to do. When you have work to do. Yeah, sorry <laughs> for distracting you from there. Um, Trisha, do you know what? Uh, Trisha bought a dukey. Yeah, I know. Wow. She's, she's bought the, the beast, and uh, and I think that that will be lovely. Uh, Martina says it's a 120 grade sandpaper. I love that Marti Martina always knows. Wow. She always knows. She's a great wealth of knowledge. It's fabulous. Um, and Sue just nipped home to swap over lawn mowers. <laughs> 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 and having a five minute break with a tomato and salad cream sandwich. Oh, <gasps> I love that combination. I quite like egg, tomato, and salad cream, actually. <gasps> Marks and Spencer yeah. make them. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you can also <laughs> Those make days them are right at home. <laughs> I've got a tomato I'll send you home with you, be fine. <laughs> um, oh, Cowters could an add an anti card reader as a stiffener. I have thought about What's this. What's that? Well, I didn't mention it today because I haven't got any. Okay. But, but now, you know, now, the, now it's out there. Contactless. Yeah. You can put an anti card reader in to stop people being able to or if you walk past a machine being able to beep you really yeah so people can read 
I mean, this all sounds very high tech and terrifying. Blows my mind. But you can, it, it's, I don't know if you go to somewhere like the NEC where there's lots of things going on, people could easily um, oh. use like dodgy, dodgy things to read your card. That's naughty, isn't so it? So you could slip one in here. You could make these really high tech. Oh, hang on. Gemma's wading in on the sandpaper situation. <laughs> um, also a woman of much knowledge and DIY. Uh, saying that, assuming that 120 on the back of the sandpaper means 120 grit. That's a medium grit. Ooh. I mean, uh, yeah, there we go. So we had, um, it also acts as Velcro because my son unwrapped a whole roll around the house. Amazing. Velcroed it to the carpet. Nice. Nice. That's right. always helpful, isn't it? <laughs> it's really helpful. He's four. Little yeah, monkey. Really helpful. So we're nearly end of this project now. So we've now... And we haven't stitched a bit. Fixed that into place. Okay. And again, we've got raw edges. But that's look okay. quite nice. I think this looks lovely. Big fan of this, I have to say. Extra thick aluminium foil would work, I believe, for anti-card reading. I love... And that's coming from Susie. Now, Susie, you'd be able to know then because Susie um, was was a big name at cricket. Could you use your cricket to cut that, Susie? Susie, Susie. She's another guest I need to go on. And I keep, every time a name comes up, and I'm like, oh, God, I, haven't, I haven't rung her again because I just get Write down in. all your questions. I know, I know, <laughs> because I need, I need to. I'm sorry, Susie, I will ring you, I'm, I promise. Um... Um, how about using an old credit card, says Laurie. Inside. Inside, yeah. Well, you could. Yeah. And I have considered that. Yeah. But. And Susan says you can get from the river the anti-card reader, Amazon. We can okay. say it here because we're not. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, and Susie says yes, you can. You can cut that metal out on your cricket. Amazing. Amazing. So, so many things that we're learning today. I know. I, every day is a school day, Michelle. <laughs> you're wafting there around like you're going to do something with it. I'm what going do you to stitch do? it. Oh, oh, to the we're machine. We're ready. To the machine. To the machine. Which bit? Hang on. What, all three layers? No. All layers? <laughs> yes. So all layers. We're right. going to just stitch <clears throat> a square. Shall, shall, shall I show yeah, this yeah, yeah. on close up? So here's one I stole earlier. <laughs> <laughs> from your husband, I'd just like from to say, not, you know... Not from a random person. Yes. Um, so we just stitch all the way around the edge. Perfect. Very simple. Susie has uh, also said that the Cricut Maker would be perfect with the rotary blade. Thank you for, for that. And Gemma says that nail files are graded in grits. Never use one on a lower number than 240 on a natural nail. We I won't mean, use this for nails then. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, but it's good to know. Might be necessary on mine. They haven't had any love. Oh, no one's right. had. No one has, have they? No, no, no. Apart right. from Gemma, who is a nail technician, so her daughter has like the most beautifully manicured oh. nails known to man. Right, here we go. Using my new, and now I'm going slowly on this because it's a big ask. <laughs> Am I stitching the correct one? Uh, Susie says that this project is more exciting than the peg bag I'm making at the moment. Oh. I mean, you know, I I, I don't Just think we should be far. we should be projectist, but yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> now, um, I realise that actually I've got the machine at the wrong angle, so um, everyone's just seeing I'm your sorry. hand. No, 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 I'm no, really no. sorry. I'm really sorry. It's, it's absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> You're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> but it is just stitching down straight. Are you going backwards and forwards over any... No. No. I'm not here. Okay. Um, but that's personal choice. You can, if you want to, you can. Now, honestly, are you loving the needle down foot up function every time you turn a corner? That's so exciting. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, for I'm loving everything. <laughs> that wants the DX7, it is out of stock across the board at the moment. So I am, I am, I now have a list, a waiting list for when it comes back into stock. Um, probably June is when Juki will next have their next shipment. Is that this of the this DX7? One? Yeah. So I have a waiting list. If you want to add your name to it, message me. 
actually no don't message me message sj which is info at natasha makes.com show us show us show us against the machine show us show us show us, show us, show us. Oh, perfect oh that's can you even lush. see the stitching there that's lush stick a card let's stick a card in it see it doing its job let's um yeah oh snip 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 and just very quickly if you have any edges which i'm sure you won't have because you would have cut it out perfectly but you can just trim round where have i put my card oh oh oh! a couple of things here um michaela the juki machine is the dx7 like i say out of stock until probably june um so if you you've got time to save a little bit more christine says i've just noticed the needles attached to the machine how have you done that such a good idea it is the needle holster um, and basically, if I just switch back to, to that yeah. close up, yeah, 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 but they're attached and there's actually a little green thing in there so that you know which needle you're, you've got in your machine because otherwise I put needles in my machine. I don't know which one it is, wow. but the little thing goes in there and then I know exactly what it is and then I can just keep it replaced. And then when I go, because I go back and forth to Ho Chanda all the time, I know I've always got needles in case anything breaks or I need to change a needle or anything like that. I've always got it there. Um, that looks amazing. So simple. It's often the best though, isn't it? Yeah. And you could even add some decorative detail oh, here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Decorative detail. There we go. Decorative detail where? Yeah. Oh, Before with your fancy, you put the pocket fancy on. stitching. Fancy stitching. Oh. Oh. Any kind of embellishment. Anything. Yes, you could. Any. I mean, the world is your oyster. Isn't it just? Isn't it Little just? Little initials. You could hit stitch on perfect there we are you could put a hole in the card and could you put a hole in the card and the pouch so it's safer i don't understand that question so it's safer i don't understand why do you mean not, not slipping out is that do you think what they mean I don't know. that's not coming out it's not coming out that's very safe that's very secure that's there you go. show in. us how secure it is go on show us your security so the question is, Michelle. That's not coming out. Sorry. Just um, who is Johnny going to get the new one or the old one? I quite fancy the new one myself. There you go. So no, <laughs> so Johnny. Miss Sorry, Johnny. Out there, snooze, you lose. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gold for initials, says Amanda. Yeah, yeah. If you've got all that kind of shebang in your armory, then go for it. Don't um don't be scared of the leather. Like it can. The whole sort of leather industry has been treated a bit like it's a black art, almost. <laughs> I mean, to be it, fair, some of the things you've been asked to make, uh, you sort of go, oh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Opened my eyes. Um, <laughs> but it has been. It's a real closed shop. But actually, don't be scared of it. Just treat it as another fabric. Yeah. And it's, we, don't, we, don't, we don't worry about sewing denim and stuff like that. And yet, no. it's the same needle, so just go take it slowly. That's the thing. Take it slowly. Don't take rush it, it slowly. Treat it with a bit of respect. It is leather. You know, it has, it has come from an animal, and I think we should have a level of respect for that. Absolutely. But it's beautiful, and it's durable, and it will last. I mean, can you imagine this being an heirloom, maybe? Yeah. Handing it down. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Christine says that she's going to make one for Hubby Gary. Um, and he, because he uses he used a phone case with a pocket, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's big though, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. And um, what else was I going to say? Does on he that? answer his phone? Because mine never answers his phone. Men are terrible for answering. Wow, well, yeah, but also Christine, maybe it could be a belated um, anniversary gift. They've had many many years together. Oh, they're the sweetest sweetest couple. Congratulations. Is anyone making thongs, says Michaela. I mean, I, I guess we're on the leather again. <laughs> <laughs> leather thongs mean something very different yeah. to what you're thinking about. So, um, you know, what, what, what you do with your leather scrap bag <laughs> is up to We're not you. judging. We're leaving that there. <laughs> You've got so much. When we say scraps, we normally think of little bits like this. Yeah. But that's not what these scrap bags are. No. And that was important. And that came uh, because these scrap bags come from um, from someone who understands our mm -hmm. needs and, and wants to make sure that we can make beautiful products. Michelle, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Um, there's a lot of love for you. Um, I'm going to make you read. 
Oh, oh, there we go. Martina says that in Australia, thongs are flip-flop. I know that. I, that's why I was smirking. I knew that. But did you, Natasha? Because your face didn't say it did. I had a bit more of a Borat <laughs> moment, I'll be honest. <laughs> that was like, okay. Do you want to make I, a leather thong? <laughs> I will make absolutely no judgment. No judgments here. No judgments. I feel slightly sorry for Julie and Lorna, who've just joined us and must be wondering what the hell is going on. Nothing, <laughs> nothing untoward. To see here. Nothing <laughs> to see here. Uh, Fiona says, thanks for an inspiring demo. Another great guest who makes me believe I can do it. Yes, you can. You definitely can. Definitely. Yes, you can. Um, so, Michelle, what's next? in terms of what are you going to bring us next because uh, we have things in the pipeline. Yes. What Basically, would you like to see? I think a tablet. Yeah. Um, or uh, but, And this is what I've been toying with and I've been starting to put together. I've already started on a pattern. I know you've already started mm -hmm. on a pattern. So I think between us, the pattern can be awesome. Yes. Um, with your leather knowledge and everything else, I think awesome. And not um, just tablets, Kindles. Because yes. I, sometimes we forget that a Kindle is also a tablet. But, yeah. Um, you know, not everybody has a tablet, but lots of people have Kindles now, yes. don't they? Yes. And also, you know, larger phones, smaller phones, um, they all come in lots of different sizes. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing that we need to address when we when we think of how we're going to make these. Um, and Alison's just laughing quite a lot. And more teal and navy leather, please, says Tina. Yes, yes, yes. We are listening. We are listening. Um, a sunglasses slip case would be good oh Ooh, yeah and rachel says ah i've been working on a cross stitch project for the last few weeks um and she's run out of the white thread oh annoying oh that's really annoying really annoying make something out of leather instead we've rachel. all been there Fine. yeah 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 um so tablet cases tablet cases um more patterns can be available things Josh to make put in your... a request for he said it was a man bag. Mm -hmm. I think the Americans call it a fanny pack. Um, but no, they're not the same. <laughs> a man bag. Well, it was sort of like a sling thing that he puts like dog yes. treats and poo bags in. Yeah. Not, not for when he walks the dog. I'd just hasten to add not okay. for like just every day. Um, but yeah, so things like that maybe. Um, a pencil case with a zip. Yep. Um, Sylvia thought she joined the wrong group with talk of thongs. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's our evening session <laughs> <laughs> the after dark i don't know where the samples have gone that are little prototypes up there we have the got corner. some zips included we're working on it we want to bring oh yeah this one's lovely shall i shall i yeah go it? on go on go on to look inside yeah michaela's taking responsibility for lowering the tone <laughs> there that's got the ooh, beautiful ooh. fabric close up close up close up close up close up close up can you see got the liberty in there and this is that this is teal suede with the liberty fabric i just love it so that's what we we have Coming all soon. of these things yeah um angela uh, claire angelina is worried that a uh, phone case would be a bit complicated but who knows depends how how easy or simple or complicated you want to make it oh what about a wrap for brushes or pencils that's a nice idea. Or makeup brushes. Or, yeah, that's you know. a really nice idea. Yeah. Um, a super this demo. is a good thing to talk about on on Facebook in the comments. Uh, yeah, ideas let us to know do what you would book. like. Let, um, yeah, yeah and, and Gemma's come in with a leather makeup brush roll. Would be fab. Wipe clean. Yes, yes, yes. Can you tie knots with the sewing machine? Can you tie knots? It's got it's got a, a thing where it goes up and down like three or four times to mm -hmm. tie an end knot in if that's what you mean so um, mine doesn't my machine at home and yeah. i have to just pull one back and unthread and tie a knot and that's what i do right okay which yeah. just sounds really laborious now i know what yours does well you know i've ruined you for life sorry about <laughs> that <laughs> sorry not sorry thank you thank you thank you so much um on the website we have all the tim holtz bundles that we went through first thing you can watch back and have a closer look at those they are all on the website um i don't know what stock we've got left of of scrap bags or i i know that the liberty 
um, and Teal has sold out. We'll see if we can get any more of that back. Um, so basically, thank you, everyone. Um, how about leather hand sewing? We are discussing that, aren't we? Yes. And what requirements that would need in terms of kit. That's, that's the difficulty because I would really love to share um, some hand sewing with leather with you, but it's what equipment you need the other side, whether we can make it work and really accessible for everybody. That's the key, is mm -hmm. making it accessible so that we don't do one, and but you have to spend hundreds and hundreds before you can actually stitch a wallet. We're not having that. No. A new watch strap. They can be amazingly expensive to buy. They're a fiddle though, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, yeah, all these things, all these things are possible. Tomorrow, can I just talk very quickly about tomorrow? Yes. Um, tomorrow is all about rainbows. They are Do you want to swap? Are you okay no, you're right. Uh, they are incredibly popular at the moment. And I have um, a lovely lady that actually Gemma introduced me to who has a quilt pattern um, in aid of, of cancer research. And it's a rainbow. And it is English paper pieced. So tomorrow is English paper piecing. It is rainbows and it is a, a charity quilt. Now, wow. um, the quilt will be charged out at £5.99 for the quilt pattern, for the pattern, and £5 of that goes straight to Cancer Research. Wow. Goes straight to Della's charity. That's fantastic. Which then goes on to, to that. And that, that goes, that, so that's, that's what we will be doing. Um, Michaela would like a dog collar. For her pug yes uh, so um so that's what we will be doing tomorrow so it, it brings it brings into play for me lot lots of things tomorrow rainbows nhs supporting of all sorts of things and and cancer uh cancer charities and all of that and um Della's just finished her quiltathon her 24-hour quiltathon and normally they would do a relay um so a race for life type mm -hmm. relay race um down in Cornwall actually it is but this year of course couldn't do it so of course their funding is now affected their fundraising is affected so this is what we we will do for them um instead so that's what we will be doing fantastic tomorrow. that sounds beautiful okay um Alistair's just joined us Alistair we're just done my darling we've just <laughs> finished lots and lots of leather um and uh, Gemma's super excited about tomorrow and um oh oh my husband says oh hang on let me just read yours it. or mine this is my yours. husband <laughs> yours doesn't do social media which is why you get away with posting giggly <laughs> giggly posts about his haircut that you gave him um what about a case to keep your scissors that um yeah actually that's not a bad one um yeah they're quite sharp aren't they and oh yeah <laughs> and he also says that uh, maybe one that you can hold a mobile phone in so you can secretly film your husband as you cut his hair michelle <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you like to explain that? Oh, well, you know, everyone's got a corona haircut at the moment, apparently. Yep. Men have got very silly about having their haircuts or they're upset because they can't visit the hairdresser. And I was asked to do um, some haircutting. I'm trying not to become hysterical because I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. And I thought I'd done an excellent job. And What did you um, use, Michelle? Pardon? For the blending, what did you use? Well, the only comb I had was one that we use for Play-Doh making. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I didn't think there was anything unreasonable about going to fetch the comb from the pot, from the pot that we use to make marks in the Play-Doh. But everyone else thinks that's a bit odd. Slightly strange. <laughs> uh, more strange is that your husband even knows about terms called blending. I know. With that, I, I think, yeah. I, I don't know. I stepped up. You did step up <laughs> and, up. and you, you did that haircut. So well done you. Thank you. Uh, Freddie looks like he's had knits and has a knit <laughs> haircut. Uh, we'll gloss over that. It will grow. Uh, so <laughs> thank you so much. Thank so, you. So much thank for you for joining for us today. And having me here. And uh, this is a whole step. Yes, we were all these, all these suggestions now. We will read wow. through all of these and we will get back to you. And thank you ever so much um, for joining us today. EPP tomorrow, rainbows, lots of gorgeous fabrics tomorrow. And of course, the charity quilt tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, you've been amazing as ever. Um, and yeah, we'll see you 10 o'clock tomorrow. We'll, here, here, right here. Uh, we'll yeah. see you then. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.